They could be picking over berries, you know, separating the good ones from the bad. But these volunteers from the Alberni Valley Enhancement Society are definitely not working with berries. Today we're taking inventory of our, our coho eggs, which we've uh, taken from Consuxus Creek in the fall. Uh, we've taken about 150,000 eggs from the uh, natural salmon in the creek, and we're enhancing them in the, uh, in the hatchery. Yes, they're salmon eggs, taken from ripe females and fertilized in late November. And doing an inventory really does mean counting the eggs. But well, we do it by weight instead of by, by number. We'll weigh 100 eggs, scale those and get a weight on those 100 eggs, divide it into the weight and def decide what one egg will weigh. And each lot is different because each eggs are different sizes, depending on the size of the fish. Then we'll weigh the total amount from that particular fish. That way we know what we're putting back into the creek and that way DFO knows what we're putting back into the creek. Well, we're, we're halfway through, uh, so we're at our count on uh, the first half was about 66,000. So um, depending on where we're at here, you know, we'll be, I don't know, 110, 120, somewhere in that range. That's 110 or 120,000 coho eggs, all destined to be hatched and released back into Kitsuxis Creek in the spring a creek that now has a healthy returning population of salmon. It wasn't when we started. We had very few coal returning to this creek. I believe Jake and I, in the, in the days we counted 19 coming up here, since then we put a fence in, which doesn't allow the fish to go by without us counting them. And our biggest year now is 2,400. From 19 to 2,400 fish. That's a success story that speaks volumes about the value and impact of small hatcheries. We're, we're not alone in this, right? There are a number of small hatcheries like this. They play a big role in a lot of these small creeks. Everybody, you know, they focus on the, the Chinook and the big fish and, and Robinson Creek and, and Somas and these big rivers. But, well, I tell you, a lot of these small tributaries make up the difference. And, you know, there's a few fish here, a few fish there, and all those few fish add up to a whole lot. A whole lot of fish relying on just a handful of folks who are absolutely passionate about what they're doing. We're all volunteers. We're all old volunteers. And uh, we just love what we're doing. We love what we're doing. We do it because we enjoy doing it. The Alberni Valley Enhancement Association Hatchery and Resource Centre is located on the grounds of McLean Mill. Visitors and new volunteers are always welcome. Just stop by any Saturday morning at about 9 o'clock. <laughs>